Hi. I got a new phone and it works and this is it right now and it says it's filming in 1080p and that's on the camera on the front okay we're not even using the good camera so let's see how this quality works I'm gonna render the video in uh in 1080 by uh how was the other one you do it by it's just like 1280 by 1080 I don't I don't remember I'll google it we'll get you the good quality but let's see how this camera works okay Get some videos out. Um, something kind of interesting the other day, we were having a conversation, the fiance and I, about uh, self-help, about any kind of self-development. And right now how it's an industry, it's, uh, it's more than just taking care of your health. You're, you're managing your thinking patterns. You're taking care of your mental health. And maybe it's how to make money. Maybe it's how to get in shape, maybe how to dress better, how to, and all of it connects in its own way. It's all part of this self-development community. But why is it called that? It's not necessarily new. I mean, we have very ancient texts talking about how to live a good life, how to manage your interactions with others in your personal life, how to be a good person, etc. So self-development isn't really a new thing self-help, self-learning, so whatever, whatever you want to call it. It's not new. So really, it's, it's more of an industry of self-care. It's not just the health industry that is, is bent on um, selling you products and ideas to take care of yourself. Uh, all of these ideas in the growth community are just self-care practices. Why is it not called that? Like, why aren't these ideas more mainstream? You know, like, like Tony Robbins. Everyone knows his name, right? He's a household name. And so you might know what he does, but when you think of him, you're like, oh, he gets everyone all riled up and excited. And yeah, he's there to change your attitude or, or to make your outlook a little more positive. Um, just thinking of like, what would my aunt say? If I brought up Tony Robbins, he's a um, motivational speaker. But the things he's talking about are very useful. The things that he supports, my shirt's right on. Ah, want to look good. So the things that he supports, they're, they're basic self-care practices. Like stand up straight, believe in yourself, stop these uh, thinking patterns over here, these ones over there, a little negative. Let's try to move away from that. And let's focus on these over here, which are a little more positive. Um, and here are some techniques to do both. That's, that's like clipping your nails. That's like brushing your teeth every day. It's, you've got to exercise and stretch and eat these foods and not that. Like it's, it's, it's basic self-care stuff. So... Is that what self-development and self-help, what that industry is going to evolve into? Is just basic education? And I don't know. It, it, that makes a lot of sense to me. Like, and then when you, when you take that idea and you look around the people in your life, maybe in your life or in your society or on the news, and you don't see a lot of these self-care practices being practiced. Um, we focus a lot of the times on really petty things, on distractions that aren't necessarily worth our time or energy, and maybe they drag us down. We're not always doing what's best for us. So to me, this is a symptom of where humanity is at right now. I feel like we're a... Uh, like a fledgling species. We're young. We're, we're toddlers. We're trying to grow up into teenagers as we figure out life, as we, as we wake up on this planet and, and figure out how, like what's going on around us and how do we live? Um, how do we organize society in such a way that uh, we don't have things like war, famine, a planet that's dying, any, anything along those lines? How do we avoid those things? How do we Make it so that everyone can prosper. That's what I mean when I say we're a young species. We've, we're just learning. 
We're learning how to organize society, how to manage ourselves, how to interact with each other. And that's really exciting. <laughs> it's, it, it can be nerve wracking. Yeah, it can be scary, but there are tools we can use to ease that transition from a young species to an older one. Some of those tell us that uh, you need to brush your teeth twice a day in morning and night. <laughs> Some of those say you have to exercise and eat healthy. And in other words, others, which we call self-development, self-help, psychology, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they tell us how to manage our thoughts. They teach us these things. So just a thought. Think about that. How... How would self-help techniques fit into your life? Because it's it's not a pitch to you to say, like, buy a certain product or go read this book or do these things to improve your life. It's an idea that just as you have to, to breathe in and breathe out to stay alive, you have to do certain things to make that life a quality life, a, a life that's worth living. That's, that's like brushing your teeth. You don't brush your teeth, they rot out. You lose all your teeth by the time you're 40. Right? So it's the same idea. You could do these different self-help practices and have a more healthy mind as you age. They're just self-care practices. Think about that this week. I'm going to see where I can go with it. Thank you for your time. We'll put out some new videos this week. It'll be a good time. And... Uh, it's good to be back. Good to have a phone again. Good to be able to film. I'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye. Also, why is that weird to wave like that? I'm like a wizard. Ooh, there's casting goodbye spells. Talk to you later. And if I may.